Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to test out the autofocus and eye tracking on the Sony ZV-E10 and see how it performs. This is me standing here. I'm going to move closer to the camera and see what happens. So I've got it on 4K. This film is tracking my eye. I've got it on 4K, 30 frames a second. I've got the shutter speed at 60. And I've got the aperture on auto and the ISO on 400. So this is how it performs. this way how's it doing move back move forward show a product this is on normal mode not um, product showcase I'm using the Sigma 18 to 50 millimeter 2.8 Seems to be tracking my eye really good. Let's see how close it focuses around there. Move back a bit. Looks a bit strange, I know. Yep, it's catching my eye about there. And then when I get this close, it loses my eye around there. Okay, catches my eye again. Hold my hand out. Okay, let's find another product. Let's try holding out the lens cap. Pretty good, very snappy. Awesome, I've done a similar test with the A7 IV. Um, I'll leave the link in the description below if you haven't seen that. So you can test it out, I was testing it um, versus the X-H2S compared to the A7 IV. So if you haven't seen that, you can watch that in the description below. This camera is absolutely incredible for the price. Um, if you use it on the fence for a video camera or a vlogging camera or even a camera for YouTube like I'm using and you want auto focus that's very reliable and you don't need to upgrade to a full frame, you just need a really good lens on the APS-C um, this camera is honestly wow for the price unbelievable I'm gonna try again closer that's it thanks for watching guys if you like this video subscribe and give it a like and comment down below your experience with any of the Sony's that you have and um, your thoughts on the autofocus and what you think till next time take it easy